Welcome! E aí, galera, beleza? Bem-vindo à nossa comunidade. Welcome to our community. Hey, what's going on, guys? It is OGC here. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at uh, the Covenant and just doing a, a quick little follow up video for it. So, uh, as far as the Covenant effects, because this is something that I wasn't super clear with uh, right when it came out, uh, what will happen is we will increase the rarity of the items by combining them and leveling them up naturally. So, as we can see, this is rank 10, but we haven't added another rank 10 into it. And it is uh, blue, which shows that like uncommon ra rarity. And then we have the purple one, which is from combining everything. Now, my initial uh, thoughts with this whole system is some of these bonuses are absolutely insane. So this is kind of, this is very similar to the uh, troop equipment. It's on steroids, man. Like this is ridiculously strong. Uh, it... The, the whole Covenant system and, and everything along with it, this is an unbelievably strong system. Um, I think that this is going to offer ginormous bonuses for troops. This is no joke. Um, I think it will change uh, meta as people progress, especially the whales. So if people are spending money on the, the system, and I mean significant money, like maxing out the set purchases every day, they're just going to be on a whole nother level. Now, this is super powerful. Personally, I am not going to spend money on uh, trying to rush ahead of the, the herd when it comes to this system. It seems like it, it is just complete exponential growth, meaning it's going to start out relatively easy, especially to get up to like rank 10s, uh, but it's going to skyrocket from there. So uh, unlike the troop equipment, the growth and uh, the necessary material needed to start combining everything is going to exponentially grow because if you get to rank 20 to now unlock that rank 20 and get like one of these purple equivalents, you're going to need to bring something to level five, bring something else to level five, combine them. Now you work up to 10, which means you need to get two pieces, combine them to level five, and then bring that up to uh, level 10 as well, combine that. Now you're at level 10, you need four things at, to combine at level five, two things to combine at level 10 uh, to get up to, I guess it would be 15, not, not 20. But hopefully you guys get how this just spirals out and becomes this giant pyramid uh, as far as required materials to keep bringing it up. So it's going to essentially double uh, the necessary uh, you know, material needed uh, every time you, you go up uh, a, a rank. It, it's pretty wild. So I don't expect anybody besides super crazy spenders that are probably spending uh, two, three thousand dollars a week purely just on this aspect of the game to have this max out anytime soon. This is going to take a very long time for, for the common player to, to actually max out. So what I would do as far as recommendations is I would really focus on participating in all the events that uh, the, these materials are out there. We're probably naturally going to do that just by playing the game and participating in the events, but uh, I wouldn't go super crazy with spending, even if you drop a couple hundred dollars into just this aspect, you're not really going to get that much further ahead of the, the herd of people. This is going to require significant uh, money investment consistently over time to, to really actually break away from kind of the mob of people. Uh, so I, again, the, the whales are going to be able to, to, to grow. Um, they're going to walk into some walls where th this whole system is going to get extremely expensive for, for the whales as well. And I, I'm actually interested uh, to, to follow along kind of with, with the whales journey to see how far they push it. Now, since there hasn't been a major pay to win system out there in a while, what I can see happening is, is uh, the whales have nothing else to spend on. So they'll, they'll be able to flood into this. But as far as like the average players, I, I really don't see a, a huge point into making a giant investment into the covenant system just because of the, the rate of growth and how much material it's actually going to, to cost. You can get a decent amount out, out of the set purchases. What I would also consider doing is if this is a system because you recognize that it's a very strong system, I recognize that it's a very strong system. What Lilith will typically do is over the course of uh, the next couple of months, there's going to be individual uh, sets coming out. Maybe it's going to look like a um, 
sorry, not that event. Maybe it's going to look like uh, these set purchases and you might be comfortable spending for, for that. Um, feel free to do that if, if it looks like a, a better deal than purely just buying the, the sets out of the shop. Uh, I also imagine that maybe in the lucky dice, maybe in the lucky wheel, we're going to see them putting this in. So if you choose to participate in those events, you might get a little bit more. The, the other one where I, I could see this coming up is if they put it into um, this sanctuary offering, uh, kind of like they did with the relic system and, and dragon dust and all of that other stuff. It, when they put this in here, it might actually be uh, worthwhile if you're a spender to, to go hard on, on this event once you, you might be able to, it would take something like this to really put yourself ahead of kind of the, the herd of people, but it, it is unbelievably strong system for, for, for your troops. I just see it as a giant exponential growth. So should you choose to uh, indulge in, in spending on this new system, just be aware that it, it's going to get really expensive really, really, really fast. And uh, we're going to hit some major plateaus where it's going to take us a while, even if we're spending money, to kind of progress up to that next rank. It is pretty wild to, to look at. So with that, um, please make sure that you smash the like button. Uh, subscribe if you have not subscribed already. We have some awesome videos coming up this week. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Take care.